Hey guys, my name is Kenny. This is a review of the new Forte Series Sea Salt Spray and the new Forte Series Texture Hairspray. So starting with the sea salt spray, it comes in this black packaging. I do love the packaging for both of these products. And I also love the packaging for the sea salt spray. In terms of the scent that they use, it's the same scent that you could find in the molding paste. So the hairspray comes in white packaging instead of the black packaging. And again, keeping in line with the same color scheme, they're still sticking to black, gray, and white. So the hairspray is supposed to add volume and texture. The sea salt spray is supposed to enhance your natural curls, reduce frizz, and add texture to your hair. It adds volume as well. These are the directions for the sea salt spray. These are the directions for the texture hairspray. This is what my hair looks like after applying the Porte Series Argan Oil and then letting it dry. So first I'm going to style my hair with just these two products, and then I'll do it again adding in the Porte Series Molding Paste. So first we'll start with the sea salt spray. So for this spray, it says to spray three to five times at the roots. So this is what my hair looks like using just the sea salt spray. Okay, now I'm gonna tell you what I like about this so far. And I'm gonna compare it to these two sea salt sprays that I've used. So in terms of the one I like the least, it's this one right here. And this is one of the cheapest sea salt sprays you can find at Target. I do like that this is effective, but the spray itself is just way too sticky. And if I want to run my hands through my hair later on, my hands get sticky again. As for this one, this is a sea salt spray I got off Amazon. It says it gives you a light hold with a natural finish. And it pretty much is a light hold, I don't really notice it. And because of how light it is, it doesn't really do anything for my hair. Now as for the Forte Series sea salt spray, it is the best one out of all three. I'm actually pretty surprised that it's not sticky. Feeling it in my hands, it's just barely sticky and it's not really noticeable. The main reason I wanted a sea salt spray was to enhance the waves on the back of my head. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's giving me a lot more volume on the back of my head. And like I said, I just love how it's not sticky. I can literally run my hands through my hair and not feel anything. And it doesn't leave my hair crunchy like some sea salt sprays. So before I combine it with the molding paste, I do want to lock this in with a texture spray. I want to see what the outcome is with just these two products. I'm not really sure if I sprayed enough, but this is what it looks like. Keep in mind that this is not the free spray, so I can still run my hands through my hair. So far, these two products have helped me control my hair a little better, but I'm still having some problems with certain areas. I still have certain hairs that stick out. So I'm gonna rinse my hair and try these out again using the molding paste. I already put in the argan oil and I'm letting it dry. So going in order, I'm gonna use the sea salt spray and then use the molding paste and then finish it off with the texture spray. I'm mostly gonna spray this in the back of my head and on the sides to enhance my waves. The molding paste is mainly for the top to make sure my hair stays down. And then I'm gonna use the texture spray to hold everything else in place. So now I'm going to use the molding paste.
So adding in the molding paste, my hair does seem like it's more under control. I do have some of the usual hair sticking out just a little bit, but it's definitely better than before. So I pretty much want this to stay the way it is without hairs flying around. So I'm hoping that this texture spray will keep it in place all day. I didn't get the free spray because I still wanted to run my hands through my hair. And this is what my hair looks like after applying everything. So overall, I think these are two very good products. I especially like the sea salt spray, because like I said, there's barely any stickiness to it, and it's effective. It's definitely better than the other two sea salt sprays that I own. As for the texture spray, this is the lighter spray compared to the other one. It's pretty much exactly what I expected out of it. It's not heavy and it doesn't leave your hair crunchy. If you want the maximum hold, you're gonna have to go for the free spray. So yeah, I do recommend both of these. And I also recommend the molding paste that they have. Again, my name is Kenny. Like this video if it helped you out, and subscribe for more videos just like this.